Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with another early alpha look today at Wayward Terran Frontier. Uh, Wayward is a interesting little space-based exploration RPG where you own your own space station and build or play with custom spaceships uh, to explore the universe, destroy your enemies, trade, and all sorts of other things that we typically do in space RPGs. Now, there's a couple of very interesting features to the game, but I'll be getting into that a bit later. For now, I should mention that, of course, everything you see, as always with alphas, subject to change. Uh, this game is currently up on Kickstarter. They have met their uh, $20,000 goal to get the game funded as, as, it's, as it is. Uh, it's a bit of a small goal, I have to say, for a, uh, for a game on Kickstarter, so... I guess they're trying to, you know, just get what they can to get the game done, but it still seems like it might be a little light for that. Now, you can get in on this for as little as 20 bucks at the moment. That gives you the digital download of the game, beta access. Uh, if you do want to go up to the $40 mark and get the alpha access, they will have a alpha build of the game up for those who, and that's just to Kickstarter and PayPal backers, uh, who kick into this game. 30, up to 30 days after the Kickstarter ends. So within that time, you might get an updated build of what I'm playing right now here. Uh, now I can design my own ship. Select profiles. So I can select which ship I'm actually doing. I actually do have a ship here I sort of designed. It's not... It doesn't work all that well, to be honest. I'm still trying to figure out how to... Uh, there's not really much of a guide at the moment. So although I've managed to figure out how to power everything properly, I still have not figured out how to assign these turrets to proper weapon groups so that they can be used. So that's a bit of a, uh, yeah. I'll get into more of that later, it seems. But uh, let's go back here and uh, start up a new game and take a look at the actual game itself. There we go. So this is actually one of the more interesting parts of this game. Uh, you can build your own customized spaceships and all that, and you actually are a character inside of these spaceships. You have to have corridors for your guys. You can have sleeping chambers. Eventually, I'm sure we're going to have crew. So having these multiple, like, bed chamber rooms here to uh, have the crew, you know, give them somewhere to rest on our ship will be uh, necessary. Different components around it. We have, I believe this is a research room, if I'm not mistaken. What do we have here? Ah, this is stellar cartography, so I can view the map from there. Ah, logistics. So I can spawn in ships. I can spawn in my ship if I had a ship design that wasn't crap. Yeah, that's my ship design. <laughs> no, 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 no. My ship design is terrible, so let's get out of there. So in logistics, you can uh, spawn your own custom-made ship depending on the resources your uh, station actually has. We got the gunnery console here so I can defend my station from any enemies. Obviously, this is a bit of a texture glitch right here. Uh, alpha, it happens. <laughs> And over here we have a cargo bay where we'll probably have... Oh, we actually have a bunch of guns here. Now, I do actually spawn in with a random gun. And uh, all these kind of items are actually random. Let me see what we have here. I currently have a 21 damage, 76 DPS gun. Let's see about 97 DPS. 204 DPS gun. Oh, I want that. So I'll open up my inventory and I'll equip that. And this uh, Nanite Aura. This basically will repair... Uh, areas around my ship as they get damaged. So let's head out this way. Just walk on along here. And head outside into our uh, currently docked ship. This console is connected to nothing. This would be our uh, driving or our, like command room console. But we don't actually have anything to command there. So this is the ship we start off with. Has a, uh, a bit of a giant drill missile. Though I haven't actually fired this at an enemy yet. We'll have to see if I can manage that. Has one turret in the top right corner here. Our command area is right here as well as our personal living quarters. You can see that the power is kind of... Uh, this is actually a reactor here. I'm assuming yeah, these two are storage batteries and then we have uh, heat sinks to dissipate the... Excuse me. Dissipate any uh, residual heat from that off the ship. Now... We do have a cargo bay right here. Well, actually, a large cargo bay as well as a smaller cargo bay. So, quite a few cargo bays for this ship. And we have another gun turret down to the bottom here. And a whole whack of engines and other sweet things. So, power conduits going throughout the ship here. Looks like there's actually a lot of areas here that could use a little bit more armor. But, uh, anyway, I'll have to edit this thing another time. Let's uh, go ahead and hop in the seat and see if we can get out of here and find some enemies to fight. 
So we'll hop into the seat. I'll hit Z to undock the ship. And let's go ahead and make our way out of here. So let's check the map and see where the closest enemies are. M. So actually, it looks like there's a couple of them straight down here. That's one thing, though, is that currently leaving the map will actually take you back to the, uh, to that kind of inside your ship rather than back to here. So that's something I'm sure they'll have to change at some point. But anyway, I'm going to turn on the travel drive so we can speed up here and intercept the enemies. Oh, crap. Oh, geez. Slow down. I can actually kill myself by ramming into these. Oh, man. That was freaking close. I was... Crap and bricks there for a second. Oh, damn. Okay, turn off travel drive. Turn off travel drive. <laughs> Let me reorient myself again. Uh, check. Well, I'll keep traveling first. Then I can check the map here in a bit. Oh. Looks like that might have nicked my edge there. Let's take a look. Turn off travel drive. Let's take a look at the back here. See if I did nick off a good portion of my... Uh, nope. Looks like she's pretty intact. So I must have just barely missed it. That was close, though. I have slammed into a uh, asteroid once and had this entire, like, left section here just gone. Just destroyed. Alright, check the map. Okay, it looks like he is... Whoops, nope, didn't mean to do that. This direction should lead us to him. Let's uh, initiate the travel drive. See if we can speed up a little bit here. Try not to go too fast again like last time. Because that was nearly a mistake. Slow down a little bit. Think, nope. Almost got him. Although we do have these indicators here for range from enemies, I believe. It's not exactly that accurate at the moment. Like, it should be facing towards my target, and whoa. Looks like we just changed areas here. Check my map here. Okay, so should be a guy just a little bit south of me. So again, this is all still pretty early, so, you know, working on... Yep, there he is. Disable travel drive. He's 5,000 meters ahead of me. 4,000, he's on the way. Wow, that's cool looking. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Prepare for glory. Attack! So there's a whole range of different weapons, and I'll cover that in the editor in a moment here, after I try and engage this guy. But, uh... The enemies actually do have somebody piloting. Like, they actually do have somebody piloting uh, this ship. Oh, jeez, and I flipped myself out here. No, I'm trying to turn myself, but it's not working out too well right now. Alright, let's get at him. I'm letting him get away. I can if he gets to one of the map edges, he'll kind of just sort of teleport away a bit. So I need to get to him before that happens. There we go. Firing everything I got on right now. Trying to take out his engines. If I get close enough, I can get both my guns to bear on this guy. That's what I'm trying to do. Now, there's no health bars, because every, like, the actual integrity of my ship uh, dictates the damage that we're doing here. Like, the armor I actually place around my ship will stop the bullets where they hit. Seems like we're not doing too well right now. Let's see if I can try and dock with this guy, even though it's still moving. There we go. Now I got my guns back. Now I got my guns back. Come on, take out those engines. Reload. Trying my best here to keep this. There we go. Come on, take them out. So my nano nanite aura is probably doing the best it can right now to try and repair all the damage this guy's doing. I'm just trying to keep him... If I go back inside, I can see 
I can take a look at this thing. But let's actually see if I can fire. There we go. I forgot to fire my drill rocket at him. There it is right now. It's right behind me. It's kind of veering towards him. And... Oh! Hit! I'm not sure what kind of damage that thing would do. But it hit. That's all that matters. Okay. We took out the other engine. Oh! He, no, he teleported. Okay. We managed to get to him, though. Oh, damn it. This is very uncomfortable for it. Ah, I need to somehow disable this guy. His guns keep kicking my ass right now. I'm gonna keep firing towards the guns and hopefully we'll disable them somehow. They're quite a bit in there though, it seems like. Let's try hitting him from behind here. See if I can disable it that way. No, we're not doing that well here. I'm sure that guy is just ridiculously damaged right now, but it's not enough. Uh-oh. I'm getting vented, I think. Alright, let's try and board up this guy. So let's get our docking ports aligned and hit X. Okay, we're docked. It's not getting hit, uh, space. Oh, yeah. Let's get in here and kill this guy. Oh, it's more than one. Killed him. Oh, no, you don't. Shotgun! Shotgun! Oh, so apparently my weapon is a shotgun. So I killed both the crews. So this vehicle is now mine. Uh, I can access their cargo. We have spare parts here. So these are used to actually create our ships right now. So my ship got all sorts of beat up. We can take a look down here quickly if I continue going south. Uh, we can see here is where I penetrated and destroyed the engines. I kept trying to shoot at the back here, but it looks like he had quite a bit of layered armor here. So I couldn't quite penetrate enough to get in here and destroy that cannon. So that was, uh, that was a nuisance to say the least. <laughs> to say the least. So yeah. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, I managed to get, the re get to the engines, wreck them a bit. Uh, my nanites are actually should be repairing this right now. So I could take this if I wanted to. I could literally just go into the commands deck here and just take it. Actually, just kill the commander here. Oh, there was one left. I didn't even realize it. So I can use the navigation console. I could take this ship from my own if I really wanted to. But I just want to access their cargo bays. Uh, take all that they have. And then get out of here. For now. Whoops. Looks like I accidentally crashed it by hitting transfer all. My bad. My bad. Give me a moment here while I close this, relaunch it, and bring it back up. So you get the kind of general idea here. We have all kinds of different weapons, which I'll kind of take a look at here now. Alright, it looks like we did end up losing... Whoops, I'll have to resize everything again. Apologies. Uh, let me give me a second here. This is being... <laughs> Pardon me. I may have to stretch this here again. Yep, thought so. Alright, so we'd have to start a brand new game if I want to do that again. But first, let's go into my... Uh, let's go to design ships. And I actually kind of want to remove these guns here because I haven't had the chance to get them. They, they haven't functioned properly for me. <coughs> Pardon me. Goddamn winter. It's that time once again for colds and other sets of sickness. I've been placing these weapon groups right here. The one thing I haven't been able to properly do is to get the weapons to assign to a weapon group properly so I can fire them. So I'm having a little bit of issues with that, but that's about it. So this is just a general ship. We have all kinds of different modules. I can set how many crew are supposed to be on this ship. Of course, I'm the only one with... I only had enough room for my captain's basic quarters and the actual command deck as well as a small cargo base. So... 
Uh, I couldn't actually put a, a barracks or anything like that in here. So we have different modules, walls. I actually haven't armored this thing completely. I want to go look in weapons, though. So we have missile magazines. They are used to uh, draw from... The one thing, of course, is some issues here, like the text going off screen, so we can't read that. So I'm assuming you would attach these missile magazines to the actual uh, missile launcher, and it would help to uh, give you a few missiles to fire. So this is where the missiles are stored and then fired from the gun. Although I don't actually really see much of... Uh, we have this thing. Oh, yeah, here we go. Missile loader. We'll lift missiles and put those missiles... Yeah, they're pretty heavy, you know. So we have the missile loaders, and uh, we have these beam controllers. I'm not 100% sure what the laser beams do, to be honest. I typically stick with the uh, tiny turrets and then the ballistic turrets. I'll probably go with ballistic turrets here. So we have the forward emitters here for lasers. Kind of weird trying to place these on here, though. It's a bit large, so we need a much larger ship to be placing those laser beams. Ah, here we go. So standard multipurpose launch tube. Or a fixed projectile mount. So you would add the uh, missile launchers to the side of the missile racks here. Missile magazines to the side of these guys. And use the loaders to help load it as well. In the modules we actually have a pretty large factory here it takes to actually produce these missiles. So these, this is the actual missile factory. You can see how large it is. I couldn't put it on this ship. But uh, this would produce the missiles using uh, 600 energy. May use up to 120 each second. Uh, to fill the missile magazines to be used. But anyway, let's go ahead and head into weapons. So let me put my small turret mount on here. For the small turret mounts, we have, of course, one non weapon that's not implemented. Small rail guns, unreasonable rail guns. Uh, pulse beams of various varieties. Uh, plasma cannons. Now, I haven't actually had much luck getting these to fire properly. Like, it's actually, if I go to power overlay, we can see how the power is being distributed throughout the entire ship here. Now, if I save this and test the ship itself, let me head in here. I can't, like, I can move around, my jets work perfectly, but I cannot fire this weapon. So I'm still working on trying to figure out how to properly uh, get the weapons to work or to attach. Like, I had it working before, but for some reason... I can't really get it to work now, so that's that's my bad. <laughs> uh, that is my bad. We go weapons. Could be I actually need to put this turret track all around it. I'm not sure though. Whoops! And then I deleted it. My bad. We remove some of this armor here. All right, let's go with the ballistic turrets because I believe those work. Without me having to really screw around all that much. Alright, these are also incredibly large it seems. We have uh, basic 220mm auto cannons, Basic double barrel machine guns. Uh, again, 220mm auto cannon. I'm not sure what the difference between these are. They look exactly the same except for maybe they have a higher quality to them. So let's go with just an auto cannon. And again, let me rip up all this stuff around here quickly so I can place this auto cannon over here. Remove all this. Okay. There we go. We'll pop this guy. Oh, we gotta remove this bit right here still. So I wanted to raise this up higher. Okay, we'll pop that guy in. Again, go auto cannon. Conduits, which uh, transmits power from the reactors, which I have right here, to where they need to be. If I, again, put the power relay on, I can see that this needs to be hooked up. There we go. Took a moment to get it to register properly, but there we go. We now have these powered and ready to go. Let's uh, save, exit, and see about testing that. See if I can fire these as ballistics. No, it again doesn't give me any indicator. Hmm. So I'm still trying to figure that out. That is a bit of the... That's the only thing that's really holding me back at this point from designing my own ships. Is uh, how the hell they're supposed to have their own... Uh, own selection. I think... I'm assuming it's gun group one like this. That should be attaching like right here. And that should do it. But, uh, let's try this again. Test ships. Oh. I spawned an enemy. So we can actually watch. As you can see, he tries to penetrate my shield. So let me actually turn this around. 
So he has access to my rear. And we can go down here and watch as he kind of damages it. Now we have no armor back here, so we should just be immediately penetrating and damaging things. Assuming he's behind us, though. Anyway, let's quit that. So at the moment, that is my only real issue, is there's really a lack of information with this about how exactly this is supposed to work. And I wasn't able to edit the other ship, so I can't really tell all that much. Uh, I could just be missing something incredibly simple that is, you know, stopping me from understanding how this works, but meh, I just don't get her. Let's put on these turret tracks here. Whoops, of course I deleted again. And this is actually supposed to be the simpler one too, so... <laughs> Uh, I guess it's just my bad for being so bloody silly when it comes to this stuff. Uh, turret track. I was thinking maybe there might be some kind of, like, ammo rack I'm missing. But I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Ooh. Let's see if I can place this guy back here. We'll put a, a wussy gun for weak AI. Let's put a micro pulse repeater, I suppose. And we'll have to check the power on that to make sure it's hooked up. I figured it wouldn't be. I figured it wouldn't be. So we'll hook up the power to that. Alright. The various rooms here, of course, the large cargo bay. Large barracks. Medium barracks. Small cargo bay, which is the one I actually have on this ship. The another version of the large cargo base. There'll be quite a few parts, quite a few components we'll be able to add onto our ship. Private cabin, stellar cartography, there's a couple of the different cockpit designs. Tower above your underlings. This is like a super center where you can go up to the very top there to uh, placeholder for the logistics room. We have the research center, which, yeah, we'll be able to actually research new technologies and upgrades and stuff like that to attach to this, uh, to our vessel. We want to make sure our integrity is higher than our inertia. If it's not, then we'll basically like rip ourselves apart as we're going. Hmm. I'm thinking I could try attaching this missile magazine here, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to do a damn thing. It's funny though, I actually did have this working once before, but I'm not sure exactly how I managed to do it. Nope. No weapons. Damn. Damn! Ah, well. So that's that's just something I had to figure out, and I'm sure they'll uh, be a little more specific with it. I'll definitely mention it to them, and uh, see if they can, you know, add some kind of, like, basic guide for those that do have, or have kickstarted the game. And uh, we'll be getting access to a uh, similar version to this in uh, about, I would say, between... You know, 10 to 40 days. I'm sure it'll be quite soon after the Kickstarter. Most people will uh, have the game in their laps. It's where you just have to sign up for it, get all that set up with, and get all of that set up, I mean, and you're done. Uh, it's mostly because they have to, you know, convert those who pay, get the emails, get their proper accounts signed up so they know, you know, what to link the account to, and then you'll be able to unlock this and play it. Still, it is quite interesting. Let's go back in here again. Let's, let's see what random weapon I started off this time. Uh, looks like a 79 DPS gun. What does it do? Just a single fast shooting green one. Interesting. Now, let's view the map there. I don't want to view the map, though. Gunnery console. I think the research is actually down here if I haul ass a bit. Even though I can't, I can't really sprint. That just kind of sucks, but hey. Yeah, access to research. At the moment, we have the credits, or current research, which is, well, nothing, because it's not implemented yet. Uh, we have our life support systems here. Big, big-ass uh, energy bank or reactor system here. That's uh, feeding into these guys. All of our cargo bays, large cargo bays are down here. Of course, we have nothing in there. Smaller cargo bays. It's quite an extensive little base we have here, to be honest. Space station. I do hope we can eventually have, you know, full-on crew in here and 
all sorts of crazy stuff. Ability to edit this and maybe add some more functions to it or smart. Start with a uh, much smaller base, a uh, weaker base that we can then upgrade over time. Ooh, farm. Interesting. So you can actually plant seeds, harvest, see the available energy. Oh, that's pretty damn interesting. To grow crystals in the selected tile. Harvest, harvest all. Oh, that's really freaking cool. So there's even a type of farming here for uh, crystals, which I'm assuming we'll need for uh, various components or research, possibly. So that's really intriguing in and of itself. But yeah, we'll be able to onboard uh, other space stations, abandoned, uh, abandoned asteroid mining complexes, and other crazy things like that. So this is definitely a really intriguing game. And I can't wait to see more development get chucked into it and uh, things get refined, you know, UIs get changed, uh, basic tutorial get tossed in so we understand exactly how what the hell we're doing. Let's see here. Machine gun, we got, oh, let's see, we got machine gun and double barrel machine gun. I want to set that as a 150 mil auto cannon and a 220 auto cannon. Sweet. So I was able to quickly change what the uh, ship had here. If I could scrap it, repair it. Damn, I was hoping I could actually get in here and edit it, but apparently I cannot right now. Alright, let's get out of here. I should, actually, there should be a way, I just don't know it, to be honest. Because the, the guy I was talking to did mention uh, that there was a way to edit the ship that was docked in there. So let's head out now to our slightly modified ship with these. I'm hoping that those 120 mil cannons will make a big difference. So again, let's undock and go see if we can find somebody to hunt down here quickly. Check our map. Um, looks like we have a couple of people here, actually. Alright, let me zoom out. Let's go roughly at this angle. Travel drive initiated. I'll have to be careful not to ram directly into any asteroids. Oh god, I'm gonna crash. I'm like barely keeping this thing together right now here. <laughs> oh man, something tells me my ship needs some more maneuvering thrusters. Oh, nope. Oh, there goes, there goes everything. Whoops. Ow, my face, my precious face. <laughs> so I went and crashed directly into it. That was unfortunate. So we got a couple of pre-built ships here, it looks like. Let me try selecting this guy. I think that's actually the same one. Yeah, that is the same one. Let's change out the guns here again. Cough. So I used up a lot of resources because I just smacked face first into an asteroid. So yeah, travel drive. Better be very freaking cautious because it seems like you're really gonna... It's incredibly easy to get yourself killed. Just gonna face palm an asteroid. Oh yeah. Or face plant an asteroid, I should say. Oh, there's a lot of guys converging in that one location. Okay, travel drive initiated. Zooming out and being very cautious this time. Oh man. No, I'm good. Ah, uh, just barely. Just barely. Ah, uh, being. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> And I hit that again. Well, shit. That's unfortunate. Let's delete that and try again. So, <laughs> oh, who knew space travel was so dangerous? Who knew? Ah, yeah. I need to stop crashing the ship and get back into combat, especially because I want to see how these auto cannons actually will work out here. I kind of wish I could take this thing into the tester. Like, this actual ship itself, so that way I could dissect it, look at it, look at all of its components, and make sure how everything functions. But, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I should probably equip this weapon. And see if there's a better one here. That is, of course, oh, and I crashed it again. Whoops. Whoops. Well, shit. So, as with typical alphas, this one is a little bit unstable at the moment. 
Uh, what can you do? What can you do? Let me launch that again. Hopefully it'll be a lot faster this time. So yeah, I'm sure they'll uh, I'm sure they'll work out whatever issues are causing this thing to crash here over time. They have mentioned that they'll be uh, those that do get into the alpha, they will be hot fixing this over time. So, you know, typical kind of uh, alpha practice, well, alpha practice. <laughs> Blarg. Access logistics. Select my dude. Auto cannons, auto cannons. All right. So the typical kind of, you know, overtime alpha. Let's see here. I'll take this one. This is assuming I'll actually get close enough to board an enemy ship, but hey, let's see how this one fires. So it's a single shot, kind of a much slower shooting laser weapon. Okay, let's be off. Now if I try to use my dock, my uh, air dock, check the map here, without uh, having my ship actually docked on another ship, uh, I will actually be ejected out into space and die. Uh, now, one of the stretch goals at the moment is actually an EVA suit. So the ability to... Oh, Jesus. Brakes. Uh, out of travel drive. Out of travel drive. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, damn. That was close. That was close. I was shitting bricks for a second there. Oh, nope. Man, that dangerous space travel, I swear. Let's try and get it around this rock here before I initiate again. Travel drive, go! Nope. Uh, I tried to slow down, did my best there to slow down, but it didn't quite do it. Crap. Well, that's unfortunate. So we did destroy a good portion of the ship here, but surprisingly, it's still sort of intact. So you can see that my nano repair here is slowly repairing this damage, but it is a little excessive, to be honest. God damn it. So I can't actually maintain my speed right now because this thing is so beat up. Ah, oh, you know, one time, one time, I'm going to avoid a freaking rock here. It's like, again, I wish I could edit this thing. If I could, I would chuck some additional thrusters on the front here somewhere. Like right here, definitely. Possibly even right here, if I could. To give this thing a little bit more maneuverability from side to side. Because that's my issue right now. Is it just doesn't have enough... It has a lot of forward movement from all of its uh, backward engines, but not enough... Uh, sideways kind of back and forth. They, they do have a couple thrusters in the back here, but we need at least one more set up front here to really give this thing enough maneuverability to... Yeah, let me delete that again and try again. Ugh! Silver derps! The silver derps is so bad. <laughs> oh, man. For the day... For the day that I'll be able to use these beautiful 100 and 150 and 220 mil auto cannons. Oh, wait, what the hell did I just do? Why did I do that? I hit escape instead of space. Blarg. Blarg. Alright, let's access my bay here. I got a 94 DPS gun. Looks like it's the best of the bunch right now. This time around. Okay, let's equip that. Let's see what kind of shot I got this time. Oh, wow. Holy crap. That's a spread gun right there. <laughs> It's almost like an incredibly inaccurate uh, assault rifle of some kind. Okay. Attempt number five. Or something along those lines. Alright, let's go. Travel drive, initiate.
breaks. I'm trying to be incredibly cautious now because I'm just too many times now have I crashed into things and just blown up my ship. So there's so many tiny asteroids in here. It'll be nice once I make a way out into uh, like open space. I can let myself slide here. Yay, I made it out of the asteroid belt. Finally, I can fly free at long last. As we transition into the new area here, I can see that there's actually nothing here. So let me see about going in this direction. Well, actually, it's not that there's nothing here. I can actually see several things here. Let me make my way towards them if I can. All right, get approaching this guy right here. Prepare to drop out of travel speed. There we go. Let's get him. Oh, I think this guy's actually coming towards me too. Come on, auto cannons. I hope that you guys can pack punch. Fire the missile. Okay, I hit him. I hammered him with the drill missile, but I don't think it's enough. Looks like we disabled him a little bit here. Alright, let's see if we can get on this sucker. He's trying to avoid docking with me. Oh, damn it. So we definitely destroyed part of my no active quests. I actually didn't even mean to enable that, so. I guess we'll just have to pierce down his center and hope that we can finally beat this guy. He's really kicking our ass right now in that uh, category. I can't move properly at all here. Just keep firing! Keep firing, damn it! Ouch, that's hurting like crazy. I can see I'm, I've dealt quite a bit of damage to the front of him, but he's still got his guns relatively intact. Must have some damn good repair crews or something on that thing. Considering the amount of damage I should have pumped in this guy by now. Then again, I'm sure he could say the same thing to me. <laughs> He's got pretty much the same kind of cannons I got. Come on, baby, load. There we go. Took a minute to load those. No, oh, man, there's just no getting around to those freaking to his uh, thrusters. He's very freaking cautious about those damn thrusters, it seems. There we go. I think I might have taken out the command deck or something. Let me try and get to the right of this guy quickly before he uh, regains himself. It's proving to be very difficult to maneuver here right now. 
Slowly backing up. Come on. Hit the wrong button to dock. There we go. Dock. Okay. Let's go. So they definitely nailed me in the front there and did some damage. Let's go across and see what happens. So yeah, we were just obliterating the front. Oh, geez. Here we go. Got guys coming. Fire! Fire! Ah! Killed them. Okay. Let's access their cargo base, see what they got here. Ooh, blueprints for a new design. A small Vulcan turret. Extremely fast firing accurate machine gun. It's for one of the ballistic slots. So we can find stuff like this. Blueprints that allow us to construct uh, new different, new types of uh, weapons. Really cool. So I guess we destroyed, it looks like we destroyed their command module. Yeah, that's why they stopped. Because we finally destroyed their command module. And I killed the commander. Okay, so this vessel is now mine if I really actually wanted it or to do anything with it. Uh, I definitely want to modify my own. I want to put a couple more, you know, guns on it if I can. This is actually a pretty large vessel. I can imagine me putting like a couple extra turrets here. And I actually quite like this vessel to be honest. I mean, I would definitely move the command deck elsewhere if I could. Like I'd move this over to the right here. And then move the command deck down here and have it, uh, like, all of this be armored as much as possible. But, all in all, this isn't a half-bad little ship here. I could probably just stick around here and wait till my, uh, aura repairs all of this. But it's really slow right now. So you can see that it would take quite a while for me to actually repair this. If I had more crew, I kind of would hope that I'd be able to also have them have these, uh, nano-auras. Bring them in here with me to fight the enemy. And then possibly, like, even leave them here to repair this thing and then take it back to our base. That would be really cool. I don't know how intricate they're really going to get with this game. I really do hope they do something like that because it would be great. But uh, we'll have to just wait and see. So, anyway, this has been a uh, pretty long look at this game. But hopefully you guys get a general idea of some of the gameplay we're looking at here right now in this early, uh, early alpha stage. Uh, but as I said before, everything is subject to change, improvement, and all that kind of stuff. Bug fixing. So, uh, things will improve over time. If I take a look at the... Let me actually get out of here for a moment. Go to my ship. Go back to my ship. And, uh, go to the map here. Alright. As you can see, this is just a single, like, asteroid field in a pretty large universe. So, it's still an experimental campaign. There's gonna be a lot more to this game. And, oh god, the universe is freaking huge. I may have just crashed the game just from actually uh, expanding the map out. And there's actually so many ships here, just like factions, just going around doing their own thing right now, just even here. I do hope we'll have some kind of mining ship at some point. The ability to just go around these asteroid fields and, you know, mine out what we need or what we can get from it. But uh, we'll have to see what happens as the game develops. Uh, thank you very much for watching, though, guys. Have yourselves a great one. Definitely do check out those uh, stretch goals if you're interested in the game. And I will see the lot of you another time with some more uh, Wayward Terran Frontier. Peace out till then. Have a great one.